The abandoned mines of Moria have been claimed by Rune and Umbar. But the free peoples of Middle-earth would not just stand by and let this happen. Gondor and the Numenorians have marched many armies to reclaim Moria from the hands of Rune. The free peoples are so upset that even the hobbits have brought an army to Moria to help Gondor retake the mines of Moria. Welcome back, guys, to Third Age Total War Reforged. All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Yes, we are back with Third Age Reforged. I thought it, you know, it's been a while. It's been a while. We could spice it up, do some Third Age Reforged. If you guys are excited about this, let me know by leaving a like down in the, uh, well, I was going to say down in the description, but just hit the like button, all right? Hit the like button, and I will certainly do more in the future if you guys want to see more of Third Age Rise of Mordor. So, or... Third Age Rise of Third Age Reforged. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I mixed up two mods. And there we go. The gates of Moria have been destroyed. And uh, Gondor is now going to be advancing upon the uh, defenders. So on the attack. So this is a 5 versus 3. 3 defenders, 5 attackers. We do have Gondor here led by Beowin. Uh, and there goes the other gate, the other secret pas passage into Moria. Uh, so yeah, that's the other gate. Um, so Gondor is here. We have another army of Gondor from King Rasta. Uh, over on this side, this army is moving over. This is uh, some Arthedane. Okay, Arthedane is here. Very cool. Look at this army march. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking just formation. It looks awesome. And then way on the other side, of course, we have the Hobbits. And then joining the hobbits, we have the Numenor. The Numenor. So those are the attackers in this battle. If we go inside the mines of Moria, whoop. Of course, we have the uh, Easterlings led by Orc Warboss. They're preparing their defenses. And then we also have... Um, we also have another army... Where are they? There they are. Another army. This is Su Supreme Noob God. Uh, he's playing as Umbar. And the third army is another Easterling army led by Atomic Bear 89. So those are the players. Those are the factions. Let's go now to the front line where this battle is picking up. Uh, where we have... I don't know why I said it like that. The Hobbits, dude. Dude. Gondor, you're gonna let the hobbits go in first? Yeah, this is not good. Goblin, Goblin Slayer 5000, who's leading the hobbits, he's moving in first. He's got some hobbitry in arms and some battling bandy book, bandy books. <laughs> okay, um, but he also has ints, which these guys are gonna be the real, the real, the real heroes of today's battle. So it'll be interesting to see him. He also has some. Uh, Bjorings, Bjorings, it's the guys who change into bears, but it, really it looks like they're just riding bears. I guess it's that, it, this is like their interpret, interpretation of it. Uh, Goblin Slayer 5000, again, part of the Hobbit army. I think you can also bring eagles, which by the way, I hear eagles, but I think that's just a sound effect. But yeah, you can bring eagles as the Hobbits. So let's, uh, let's go now back into the fight where the Easterlings are now opening fire using their bows. Oh, but the Hobbits have some Proudfoot Protectors. The Hobbits have some crossbows of their own. And this is very brave for Hobbits. I just can't believe they're going to be the first ones in, you know? The first ones in. So they're currently opening fire and trying to soften up the Runic inf Infantry that is kind of holding off to the side. Uh, the hobbits are going to now reform into loose formation, it appears, and just keep up the rate of fire. It doesn't look like this is going to be a winning fight. They did get some really good kills here for one volley. Uh, but yeah, these archers are definitely making the hobbits work for this. And, uh, you know, they're not going easy on the hobbits. They're like, oh, come on, we're hobbits. Like, give us a chance. Not today. Not today. Ah, man, I'm, I miss the old Total Wars, you know? It's it's good coming back, playing Third Age. It really is. Now we got Gondor Militia. 
they're forming up. There's really not a huge defense here. Uh, well, okay, they're, they're starting to form up now. We have, uh, oop, okay, yeah, the, the camera doesn't really like that bridge. Uh, we got some infantry here and then some infantry on the flank. So this is going to be a rough two choke point position battle. If Gondor has artillery, like a ballista or something, I don't think they do, but I, that would have been really helpful. But uh, they're just going to have to grind their way through the, the through the, through the defenses across the bridge of Khazad Doom, or uh, across the other way. Yeah, but this is so heavily defended. You got infantry. You've got archers. That's a really good archer position. We've got another unit of archers, and then some tribesmen which is a javelin type unit so yeah lots a lots of killing potential here on this hillside and it, it's gonna get wild it's gonna get wild once gondor groups up all of their troops over here he's got some gondor spearmen once he groups up his troops it's gonna be mass death lots and lots of arrow fire that's for sure let's go back over to the other side and see how things are progressing with the hobbits and things are looking pretty stagnant right now i hope you guys have some snacks and drinks too uh i do actually have a drink right here it's almost empty though unfortunately i was i, I got some coffee for this uh replay but uh i i kind of had most of it while i was setting up this battle so it is what it is anyways here comes a charge from the goblin slayer 5000 the hob well that was confusing it's from the hobbits the player's name is goblin slayer goblin slayer 5000 uh, but finally, we have our first infantry clash in the battle. And it's a juicy one. It's a juicy one. Not really. It's pretty small scale, but it is starting to pick up here. And the question is, when are they going to... Ah, wow. Gondor's here and they're just chilling? Or Numenorians are here and they're just chilling? Okay, now they're sending up some cohort. Numenorian cohort. They're going to try to get into the fight and um, help the hobbits, I assume. I would hope so. Let's go on the other side, though. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> go to the other side and see how this is progressing. Okay, let's zoom in here. They're going to cross the bridge of Kaza Doom. Gondor Infantry. This is so cool. This bridge looks awesome. And there you have it. They're going to take them on. They've set up some archers up on this hillside. No, these are javelin. No, no, the, these are archers. My bad. Big force of archers. But they're they're getting a taste of their own medicine. As the Arthedane force led by Joker. He's opening fire. Whoa, fire arrows. Fire arrows are being shot. Look at this combined force of Gondor militia. And it looks like, what, some kind of pike infantry into this front line. And Gondor is desperately trying to take back the mines of Khazad Doom. So the archers really opening fire like crazy here, trying to kill as many as possible. Uh, with one unit just holding the line this again this is just fantastic killing potential and if you are the attacker here you want to try to save as many troops as possible you want to try to make it so um you know your weaker troops die first and then you save the more elite troops once they run out of ammo because obviously you don't want your elite fighters dying to arrows from you know from far away so you can see rune is making their stand on the bridge of cause of doom archers opening fire over here Ro rohan or not rohan <laughs> the easterlings uh rune <laughs> rohan jeez the rune is holding against the numenorian cohort who were sent up to support the hobbit the hobbits hobbit still opening fire now he's got some bandobras bandabra uh bandabras archers kind of helping uh the fight and then the hobbitry in arms joining the fight some more infantry coming in here to support and i think rune's gonna rune's gonna send up more infantry if they're gonna be able to hold this and there you have it they are they are sending up some 
Bareg Mercenaries. Bareg Mercenaries. Let's go to the other side. And just, oh, okay, we're not. Minimap, please work. There we go. Yeah, so now we have the Pelagor Marines. That's a good unit. I think he wants to use the Marines here because they have Javelin capabilities. I think he wants to use the Javis. Let's see, yeah, it looks like he's setting them up to throw the Javis into this big blob. Oh no, no, he's actually turning and throwing at the Easterlings all the way on the bridge of Kaza Doom. Uh, oh, come on, camera. I'm tr just trying to get their point of view, please. Oh yeah, really, really good job there. These are some, these are some pretty solid infantry, and having that javelin support is definitely going to help you out a lot here. Chip away at their numbers from afar and make it a little bit easier for their infantry, this Gondor infantry, to break through this infantry. Uh, you know, the Rune infantry force holding the bridge of Khazad Doom. Back over here, it looks like Gondor is making some progress. We might have to see Rune have to commit more troops over to this front line, which he is sending now. He's got some uh, shadow bows. He's got some Luke Gamp Rim. <laughs> These are basically like Pike Halberd type units, Easterlings. So he's going to be sending down reinforcements because they are holding back this Gondor floodgate by a few runic soldiers a thin gold line of soldiers holding back the whoa 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 what the heck is going on here uh what is happening what is what is that i don't i don't know but gondor is just bullying rune right now he just he doesn't want to sit back he wants to get in in fight. Looks so cool. Look at that. Looks so good. He's fighting the good fight. Gold versus silver. In the deep belly of Moria. There we go. And then back here, we got more Gondorian soldiers almost slicing through. The Easterlings. Almost. There's 59 left. Gondor sells 97 soldiers. I think in a matter of time, they're going to break through the Bridge of Khazad Doom unless Rune sends up reinforcements, which honestly, it doesn't look like he is. He might let them push up and try to take this next location. I, I Or like, he, Rune might hold here as their next, you know, choke point. So we'll see. We'll see what Rune does there. Now, of course, let's not forget, we have Umbar here that has not seen any action. Umbar, um, I assume, is going to be saving his infantry. These are elite units for the last stand or like as a, like a more of a relief force. Maybe he'll send up reinforcements later. Back over this way. Oh, the Ents! The Ents are in the fight! Oh, my goodness. Look at them go. Now, isn't it kind of weird? It's kind of weird watching trees fight in a mine. <laughs> You'd think they would grow weak in here because there's no sunlight. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Ints, ints are a little different. Look at them run. Stupid <laughs> trees. There they go. So they're just kind of running around slapping slapping these uh, Easterlings around like they're nothing. I think they're... Are they leaving? They're like, we outie. We done. Yeah, it looks like he's like, okay, you did enough. He doesn't want them to die just yet. These these uh, trees, these the ints are going to fall back. And there's still a lot of reserves from the Numenorians. Uh, so they're going to slowly keep sending in more troops. We also have another Hobbit infantry unit. And then we also have some uh, Bjorings, uh, the, the bear folk, the changers, the shapeshifters. So an epic battle unraveling before our eyes right here. Let's go ahead and look at the other side of the battlefield. 
Yes, yes, where Gondor has almost taken the bridge of khazad -dum. Amazingly enough, the Easterlings are not breaking here. They're not breaking. They're fighting to the bitter end, so more power to them. But more infantry, a lot more infantry has been committed to the uh, to the bridge of khazad -dum. So this is not going to be over yet for Gondor. They're going to have to fight through another layer of golden boys. And that starts now. Now back over on this hill ramp side. You can see that... Ooh, ooh, Umbar has sent over reinforcements. And Gondor still has a very challenging task ahead of them. Which, of course, is trying to break through this ramp. Archers still just ridiculous. Opening fire, trying to bring down the Gondorians and making this more and more difficult for them. Let's look at what they have left though. How many forces have they exhausted? Wow, they still have a ton left. An absolute ton. So, uh, it's going, I would say it's going pretty well for Arthur Dane and Gondor. I think they're doing a pretty good job over here. We'll see if that can, uh, if they can keep up with that. But for now, uh, the Mines of Moria still well under the, under the control of the Easterlings. I am a little worried about this side over here. The Hobbits have used up most of their infantry. They have the Int still, but... I mean, the Ents are pretty bloodied. I mean, literally, they... Where are they? They're right here. They're pretty pretty bloodied up. So I don't know if they're close to dead or not. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's the enemy's blood. <laughs> but, yeah, slowly and surely... Ooh, look at these guys. Royal Guard. Got an archer unit here. They're gonna help out. Kill some enemies from afar. But we got some seafar seafarers over here of Nimdemos. Nimdemos. But yeah, they're trying to uh, they're trying to get into this uh, into this or they're trying to fight away at this defense. But Rune is just holding like a champ. Um, I think he's eventually. He's still got a lot of reinforcements. But here's the question: When does Rune? give up and does he keep sending troops over to that choke point or will he fall back to these two small bridges over here and hold those i don't know i don't know we'll see so let's go to the other side of the mines of moria and see oh rune is making a push look at this rune the golden boys making a push for the Silver Boys, which of course is Gondor. So they have taken back control, at least partially control, partially control some of the uh, bridge of Mines of Moria, or the bridge of khazad -dum. <laughs> Bridge of Mines of Moria. <laughs> that makes sense. There you have it. Still fighting the good fight over on this side. My goodness, this has been an absolute blood bath there's a carpet of dead uh going up this hill as gondor and gondor uh fight their hearts out now if we look at the positioning here this is actually pretty cool the positioning of these archers for rune not that great not that great he's gonna move them forward i think they're just kind of waiting in reserve but I don't really see a ton of reinforcements. He's got some Corsair fencers who have some javies. Oh man, look at that. Look at that with the, with the fire. Oh, that looks so sick. This looks so sick. And then you have the fire arrows coming in. Look at that. That looks so cinematic. Fire arrows trying to stop the Gondorians on the bridge of khazad -dum. You have the epic infantry trying to break through. The Easterling infantry as they fight off the enemy. Just a glorious sight. A glorious sight to, uh, to witness here. And essentially, this is what it's going to come down to. I mean, Khazad-dum is a very grindy map um, because it's a mine. 
You know, it's a, it's a, and they call it a mine. No, it, it is a mine, okay? And a group, in a, a, a graveyard, uh, a tomb. A tomb, I guess, is the better term. Um, but yeah, because it's a mine, it's very narrow and it's just tough for any kind of strategic flanking, tactical flanking and whatnot. Uh, they're just gonna have to uh, use their elite units, grind their way out of this and uh, try to uh, try to break through. Try to break through. On this other side, I'm starting to see some troop movement back here. We got the Luke Flag Rim, so he is committing more infantry. Oh, but the the ends are back in it again. They're like, you think this is done? Think again. And then fire arrows have been activated. I don't know if that's an actual mechanic. Like, will fire arrows help you more against ends? I really don't know, uh, but they are using it. And they're, oh, the ints are starting to drop. The ints are starting to drop. Not a good look. Not a good look for the hobbits. This is a very important unit for them. It's one of the more powerful units. And if they lose them, yeah, there goes another one. Oh, these archers, look how beautiful that is. The fire arrows. This is so cool. Let's get their perspective. Look at that. Guys firing in the back lines. The ants are like, ah, kill the archers. Ah, leave us alone. Imagine being chased by an ant. How terrifying would that be? I mean, look at this guy. Oh, come on, camera. Yeah, they're just, uh, they're going in. I mean, you would be. You would be killed so fast from an int. <laughs> Stomp on you, squeeze you. I mean, how much does an int weigh? Probably a lot. <laughs> a lot, so they could easily kill you. But lucky for Rune, the ints are dying. And I think that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Let's watch them fight to the death. The Weeping Willow, oh no. I'm certainly weeping now. I am certainly weeping. Now look at this guy do a power slide. I love that. Power slide cheer. Yeah! Ah, they're so happy. I'd be happy too, but like, oh, we don't have to deal with these stupid trees anymore. <laughs> oh, man. They need to send up more. Yeah, there we go. Royal guard, and we've got some shield guard pushing up. They've got to, they got to try to overwhelm the runic defenders. You just kind of have to sit there and take that archer fire, you know? If you use fire ammo, this is affecting his troops negatively as well, and it's also not as accurate, if I'm not mistaken. So, I wouldn't use fire ammo anymore. Back to this chaotic fight. Now we've got a lot of umbar troops by uh, Supreme Noob God. Who is uh, sending in some of his finer troops to try to hold this this uh, this hillside? The bridge of Casa Doom is still being fought for, and it looks like the Easterlings have taken half of the bridge. After the bridge. They're still fighting the good. Oh! There's a general gone! So that was one of the attackers, general. I think it was either Arthur Dane or Gondor, one of those two. I mean, it's such a chaotic mess over here. It's hard to tell, like, whose general is who. But Gondor is going to try to muscle their way, even without a general. they got to be careful. I just don't think it was worth it. Because why would you send up your general so early when you still have a lot of reserves? But honestly, guys, these reserves are going quick. 
Uh, they are running out of troops. Now, they they are hoping that the same thing is, is true for Rune. As this battle truly is a battle of attrition. And so far, guys, there's a lot of defenders left. A lot. And you can see Rune is pushing up reinforcements over here. They set up another kind of line. No, these are all just archers, aren't they? Archers and crossbows. Oh my goodness. They're just racking up kills right now. And we're about, right at this moment, we're about halfway. Halfway through the fight. Amazing. It feels like, oh, here comes the rest of the hobbits. Huzzah! <laughs> This is their last little epic, epic, uh, desperate charge. The hobbits are going all in. And look at all that fire. Damn, this game is so cinematic. But even though the hobbits have sent in probably, this is probably all that's left of their infantry even though they've sent them all in there is still a solid line of troops here defending the mines of moria so i definitely think the hobbits ally here and the numenorians need to get into this fight here's the thing though they are running out of troops as well they've got let's see one two three four one two three four five and the hobbits have one more unit what are these guys Mob. It looks like they throw rocks at the enemy. I don't really. What is? What do they have for? It's just a club. They have big giant clubs. I love this game. The modding is so fun. Uh, and then of course he has his cab here, uh, but he's probably gonna use them for like late game at the very end, I assume. The hobbits have to be frustrating because I feel like the hobbits are like, come on, like Arthedine. Like, send in your troops and help me out. I need help over here. Go back to the other side. It's a battle of two sides. Oh, Gondor's making pretty big progress here of getting up on this hill. They need to take control of the hill. And the question is, where does this exactly lead? Well, it goes up here. Uh, it, oh, are they falling back? Okay. And then it goes down into this chamber. You turn right. This is like, uh, this is probably like Balin's grave or whatever. I assume this is their recreation of, uh, the area where, uh, you know, they fight the cave troll and everything. Uh, but then you go down here and that is the town center. Oh, that is huge guys. That is huge. Another general has fallen. Oh my god, this camera. I struggle. The battle, there's two battles going on. The battle, this actual battle, and me fighting the camera. This map. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to where that general died. So, the general has... Another general fell over here. So, that's two generals. That is a big deal. Because their morale is going to be severely weakened. Ooh, Gondor is sending in reinforcements at the Bridge of Casa Doom. Doing everything in their power to try to take control of this bridge, but both sides are being very stubborn. They are not willing to give it up. Uh, but Rune has sent in archers. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Archers have been committed to the front line. That's a good sign. Potentially, like, they're running out of troops. Yeah, see, so you got crossbows over here. You got this spear unit that's severely weakened. Uh, yeah, I think Rune is actually running out of troops. This is huge. The defenders are starting to show a little bit of a weak... Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. A little bit of a weakness... They just have to fight through these archers. And I certainly think they can do that. The archers are good, but they're not focused on melee. Their 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 profession is shooting arrows. So yeah, I think I think Gondor, all they have to do is just keep grinding away, keep grinding away, 
and hopefully not lose too many men because they have lost a lot i mean rude has lost a lot but just look at the carpet of dead here look at you can't even see the floor Absolute slaughter. Now let's head back over to the uh, the um, Hobbit side. Well, the Hobbits have yet to make any progress. I mean, this is the complete opposite compared to the other side. I mean, they were able to send in some ints, and they were able to uh, they were able to kill some of the troops in the back lines. But that was about it. I mean, they've gotten some archer kills as well. You can see there's some dead archers, but in terms of infantry progress, it's not looking good. And the archers are dead accurate going for these hobbits. And they're gonna drop they're gonna drop really quickly. I am shocked that the Numenor are not sending in reinforcements. They are now. And here we go, more hobbits joining the fight. Where are these hobbits coming from? I mean, seriously, Tukish hunters. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my goodness, these sights. Going in with their hobbit tools. So another wave of attacking infantry ready to join the fray. There they go. Pikemen, that's going to be huge. Pikes are going to be a big help here. They're going to be desperately needed. Oh, the hobbits break. Oh my goodness. And look at all the arrows coming down like machine gun fire. Oof. They're afraid of those pikemen. They're trying to get rid of those pikemen. Oh my god. Stunning. Beautiful. So they're trying to uh, kill the pikes and you can see he doesn't like fighting the pikes. You just gotta keep moving forward, keep going, just send everything in. Overwhelm, overwhelm, attack, attack. All right, well, things are getting definitely interesting over here. The archers still have ammo, still opening fire. Let's go to the other side and see how Gondor is holding up. Whoa, this poor soul, look at that. He's like, I'm just going to pretend I'm dead. Imagine, like, falling and landing like that. I mean, that would be terrifying. Just terrifying. Anyways, Gondor still, or this is the Arthur Dane, still trying, pretty much Gondor, still, oh, still trying to take control of the Bridge of Khazad Doom. Back over on this side. Every couple minutes, Umbar sends fresh troops into the fight. And Gondor just can't, they just can't break through, man. They just can't get through. The Royal Guard, we have Luke Narim, Camus Shadows. So he's got a couple of reserves. I'm not really seeing a lot of infantry reserves. I'm seeing some troops fall back. They have nothing. I, I, they're pretty much committing everything they have. I don't see any like rear guard type units, you know, last stand type units. And if we look at what's left of Gondor, let's see what they got. Ooh, not good. We've got the last general general here, the dismounted knights of Anuminas, and then we have some Fornost Air Erin. Uh, uh, dismounted like uh, soldiers so the I mean these are pretty good soldiers but there's not a lot so yeah I don't know if they can break through these archers all that's standing in their way is archers pretty much yeah so I think they have a chance I mean this is still a very close battle balance of power it's a very close battle and the balance of power is very close as well so 69% giggity of allies killed has uh, well they're down to 30 pretty much 31% of their army now the attackers have lost 77% and whoa nice play here 
The Easterlings are moving forward. Yeah, you can't let that happen. Send in your troops. I don't know why they're holding on to these troops like this. You got to send them in. You got to take care of this infantry. You can't let them walk around you like that. So we are getting down to the wire with a lot of a lot of well it's we're, it, we're down to the wire for both sides basically it's extremely difficult to tell who's gonna win this fight it is are the Easterlings sending in reinforcements at the bridge of Casa Doom yes they are we have crossbowmen that's how you know when things are desperate crossbowmen have been thrown into the fight we also have some archers the mercenaries the Vareg mercenaries trying to maintain this like very end of the bridge of Khazad Doom wow you get this is a pretty good spot over here you got archers like point blank firing in the side flank of the uh, Pelagor Marines it's kind of like the uh, the battle of Helm's Deep when you see the uh, archers kind of focus the uh, the the Urukai who are who are attacking the main gate. Really good use of those archers right there. Gonna they're gonna get a lot of kills. Oh, and he has crossbows doing the same thing. Look at this. Just perfect positioning. Perfect positioning. They are just releasing hate upon Gondor. And Gondor, this is it. This is it. He's got nothing else. Well, we've got some axemen here, but I guess whatever this unit is. But that's about it. That's about it. And let's go back over here. Oh, yeah. Still trying to fight their way through this hill. It's been an absolute nightmare. Both sides just kind of throwing in, throwing in their archers. And look at this, Rune has even gotten so confident in their forces that they have moved them up to the gate to take on these forces take on the attacking forces and if we look at their reserves they do have a, a decent amount relatively speaking we got the cab they have the uh, seafarers over here he's got some swordsmen so it's like they've got a decent amount not a ton though and I, they're definitely gonna need more Now, it does appear that he is falling back some shadow bows. I think these guys are going to head to the other front because they realize the other front is much more threatening. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. We've got some Corsair fencers. I don't know. Maybe they're just swapping around troops. Man, these crossbows and archers got to be running out of ammo soon. Uh-oh. Here comes the Axemen. The Axemen are right here. Look at them. Yeah, go, boys. The bald boys are going in for some fun. So hopefully that gives Gondor the edge they need. Literally, the edge they need uh, to take the Bridge of Khazad Doom. They're still fighting up for this hill. Umbar has sent in their troops. These pikes are going to make this very difficult. Gondor is going to need archers. They need a lot of archers to break through this. And I just don't think they have it in them. 
I don't think they have any archers left. If they do, I doubt they have ammo. And even if they do have ammo, this is such a tough target to kill. And there goes the Axemen. Have now, they've now joined the front line. Can they take Moria? This really is a race for Gondor over here. Because they realize if they don't break through this defense in time, if the hobbits completely fall over on this side, then all these troops defending on this front can easily shift over and go to the other side. That would be disaster for Gondor, for Gondor who's attacking the other side of the, uh, of, you know, Moria. So at the very least, these troops over here just need to keep the defenders busy. Oh, an allied general, a defending general has fallen. Oh, this is this is getting painfully close. Painfully close. Still way too close to tell who's going to win this battle. But I do enjoy just sitting back and watching the troops fight. So the, do you think they're going to break through these pikemen? I mean, I just don't know. It is going to be close. But they seem to be making some decent progress against these guys. They are, they are getting pretty tired. The defenders. It is coming for us. And Gondor is so desperately trying to get past this bridge. All right, let's go to the Hobbit side and see how things are progressing over it here. Oh, look at this. They've got their missile troops in the front. Oh, they've got the, the bears. The bears are in the fight. Let's go. He was holding on for this moment. Holding on to these bears for this epic moment. Let's see how much damage they can do. Maybe they're like unstoppable. I don't really know. Oh man. Oh man. No, they're dropping quick. They're really not that even good. I just love that they ride bears, dude. What? What? Oh my goodness. These Corsair fencers are monsters and there's a gap in the lines. And you know what? I think the hobbits are gonna win this side. I, ca I can't believe this. They're kind of turning this around. They are turning this around. This is huge. They can actually, they need to send everything they have at this point, which is pretty much what they're doing. Even if they barely win, this is huge. Because all these troops are going to be dead here. If they win. And then they can send over reinforcements to the other side and help Gondor break through this bridge. Which is just being held back by archers. Oh 
now it's raining arrows over here. They're desperately trying to break through this force. They just will not budge. But the good news is that there's no more reinforcements for them. Who's going to take it, guys? This is insanely close. Who is going to take this one? Now down to the last few minutes of this battle. And it is, and it is extremely close. And here comes the cab charge. Here we go. That was pretty epic. That was pretty cool. They did a lot of damage there. They just need to keep that up. Like, keep cycle charging. Because their infantry is really close to winning this one. I'm kind of rooting for the attackers here. I'm kind of rooting for the attackers because this is such a difficult base to attack, even when you have a two army advantage. Oh, here we go. Another cab charge. Oh, here we go. Ah! Crazy. They're going to run through them. Absolutely epic. And we also have dismounted for Nos Aaron. Still, still trying to fight their way up this hill. It's getting closer and closer. Oh no! Another general has fallen for the Easterlings, for the defenders. Oh jeez, those axemen that charged in are all mostly dead. I don't know. I think Gondor might lose here. We've got this Royal Guard unit, which is going to be a real pain to kill. And look at, they're focusing their ammo, their shots over to the back of Gondor. This is huge. Oh yeah, I think, they, I think they're going to beat Gondor over here. I think they're going to beat Gondor. And then over on this side, even if they lose against the dwarves. Uh, it, well, I don't even think they are going to lose against the dwarves. Yeah, I think they got this on lockdown. I think Rune might come out on top. It's still early to say, but anything's possible. Anything is possible. Now this cav is giving hope for the attackers. They're still they're still alive. They're gonna are they gonna travel all the way over to the other side or are they just okay. Okay, they're just creating some distance here. They are going for the Easterlings. Trying to kill them, but these charges just haven't been that that deadly. And now, over on this side, they still fight for this hill. It's been an absolute bloodbath. I mean, look at the bloodbath for this hill. Absolutely insane. And it's still not over yet. gonna keep on fighting the good fight this is such a cool battle such a cool battle over here Gondor is on its last leg in fact I think rune knows that they're gonna win this fight that they're even sending reinforcements back I think to the other side I don't know what they're doing they got a couple of reserve I guess they're sending them to the town center oh oh that's huge he killed the general. But 
their infantry has died. They've got this last unit of Tukish hunters from the Hobbit folk. Oh, man. Yeah, I think they're going to win here. At least on that side. Back on this side, fight continues. Yes, yes. I don't think Gondor is going to have to send over another army. Because... Yeah, because the attackers are down to 90... Well, they're down to 5% of their army left in this battle. And the defenders have 92%. That's how close it is. A few percentages. But remember, this is percentage-based. So 5% in a five-man army is pretty big you know so it's pretty even but this is gonna make things a lot harder these royal guard are pretty nasty in melee whoa another general gone I, that's got to be all the generals all the generals that has to be of the defenders I'm fairly certain so that means That means they're generalists. Uh oh, someone's breaking. One army has broken utterly. Oh, was it at the bridge? Oh, the bridge. Uh oh. I think this is going to be it. This is going to be it. This maneuver right here. Yep. Yep, they're going to flank around. And Gondor is done for look at them they're killing the the retreating troops how how sick and boom there we go we have admit defeat and that is the battle guys the battle for moria uh, enemy general so that's one of the attacking generals i believe that's all the generals i think all the generals have died in this battle and there you have it, guys. That is victory for Rune. Man, was that a good fight. It was close all the way to the very end. Uh, it was a bit of a grindy fight, but that's how Medieval 2, that's how Third Age kind of is. These uh, kind of longer, grindy fights. We got a couple troops here still alive, but they're not going to do much. So let's just go ahead and get over to the end results. Ah, well, this is a bit of a bummer. There is no end results. It just says replay finished. Uh, that stinks. I think this battle was sent in by one of the runic players. If I can find him. It's got a unit somewhere over here. I think it was sent in by Atomic Bear. So, thank you so much for the battle replay. I do appreciate it. Uh, he's actually he submitted it into the Third Age Reforged Discord. Uh, so definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look at the carnage that took place on the bridge of Khazad Doom, and of course the bloodiest part of the battle right here oh my goodness can we zoom in here there we go look at this absolute carnage all right guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time on the battlefield